Happy Thanksgiving, Calvary family. What a great day to look at God's Word together. And how cool is it that we have an entire holiday devoted to the biblical theme of giving thanks. Today's verse is from Ephesians 5.20, and it says this, Giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, hopefully today is an easy day for you to give thanks. Maybe you're excited to spend time with family or watch football or eat turkey, cranberry sauce, and pumpkin pie. Um, on a day of celebration, it is sometimes very easy to be thankful. However, did you notice what it said in the Bible here about giving thanks? It said, always and for everything. Wow, now that's a tall order. Always, that's more than just on Thanksgiving Day. Always means tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next. Well, you get the idea. Always is a lot of giving thanks. And it also said for everything. That's a lot to be thankful for. Every item that you possess, every person in your life, every circumstance you find yourself in, we can even be thankful for the things that we might be lacking. God's word encourages us to be thankful. And as followers of Jesus, we are to have a persistent attitude of gratitude. Now, to be thankful always and for everything, we are gonna to need to have some help from God, and I think we're gonna to need to remember a few things about God. Our thanks are given to God the Father. He is the creator, the giver, and the sustainer of life. James reminds us that every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father. No doubt you've heard a parent reminding a child to say thank you. It's because the child had to have help to get whatever thing they needed. They couldn't do it on their own, and saying thank you, they were acknowledging their need for help and their appreciation for that help. We need that same help. We rely on God for all that we have. There is nothing that we possess that we can claim full autonomy in getting. We need to say thank you. This verse also says that our giving thanks is done in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right there is our biggest reason to be thankful. Jesus is our Lord and Savior. We did nothing to receive our forgiveness or our adoption into God's family. This is an immeasurably gracious gift, and it's through Jesus that our thanksgiving is accepted by God. We express gratitude for and through our relationship with Jesus. So an attitude of gratitude is an important aspect of following Jesus. And in fact, an attitude is really the best way that we can express thanks always and for everything. Thanksgiving is, to be a, cons is a consistent theme in the Bible. Uh, you can see it referred to in the Bible about 170 times. And I want to close by reading one of the more famous passages on Thanksgiving. It's from Psalm 100, and it says this, Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. I hope you make the most of giving thanks today and each and every day after that.